Welcome back to the production review. Today I'm going to be trying a visual novel called Kill or Love. So, once again, I found this on Steam and it looked pretty interesting too. So, I want to see what it's all about. It's like partial horror and also psychological shenanigans. So, let's see what we got. We're going to start. Alright, so this is a work of fiction. Names, characters, businesses, and blah 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 are completely fictional, I guarantee you. And, slight warning, it does contain depictions of violence. <laughs> So, yeah, let's be careful, everybody. Anyway, somebody said, Jack? There's a voice calling to me. Wake up, Jack, it's time for school! <laughs> oh, it's a woman's voice. I want to keep on sleeping, but it doesn't seem like she'll give up soon. <laughs> I open my eyes. Well, hi, and there she is. How do I get rid of the... Oh. It's really the same keys as, like, almost every visual novel, which is... You know, that's good, at least, you know, it's like muscle memory. Anyway, she says, Good morning. Did you sleep well? Oh, wait, what? Chapter 1... Indecision. I know her. Not just because she is my nurse. I've known her for a long time now. Her name is Anna. What? Can't talk? Is your throat too dry? Hang on a sec. Yeah, just throw tomate a second. She comes back with some water in a paper cup. She helps me sit up, then puts the cup to my mouth and lets me drink. Good. Feeling better now? Yeah. Arigato. Great. Are you comfortable here? Can you sleep well? How is your leg? Does it hurt? Are you bored? I mean, it's alright. <laughs> well, if you say so. <laughs> Tell me if there's anything I can do to help, okay? Yeah, okay. Um, actually... Yes, Jack, what is it? What's the date today? Do you know? Oh, just that? It's August the 3rd. I see. Arigato. Anything else? I shrug. Well, okay then. I have to go now. Other patients, you know. But I'll be back in a bit, don't worry. Anna leans down and pecks me on the lips. <laughs> hey, is that even allowed? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> bye bye! Bye, have a great time! <laughs> what? Why in the ever living hell did you kiss me on the lips? <laughs> Do I even know you like that? <laughs> is the question. <laughs> anyway, so, start of journal, August 3rd. I am going to kill someone. Probably. Her name is Anna. <laughs> okay, so clearly he started her shit. <laughs> anyway, I don't want to do it. I'm not a violent man, but what else can I do? It would be wrong to let her live, right? But I can't kill her just yet. I'm too weak. I tested my grip strength today. I wrapped a hand around my wrist and squeezed. I couldn't make it hurt at all, not even a little bit. But it doesn't matter much. Even if I was strong enough to go through with it, I'd still have to wait. I can't do anything until I know Grace is safe. Grace. It hurts to think about her. I want to tell her I'm sorry. I'm so sorry I got her involved. Please be safe, Grace. Grace, 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 Grace. It calms me down when I write your name. Grace, Grace, Grace. I'm so sorry. Come in and say. I was just like, <laughs> like the way he just repeated. It was like a mixtape. Anyway, August 4th. The journal is still here, thank God. I was afraid she would find it somehow. When I saw that she didn't, it was such a huge relief. I want, wait, I wanted to write in it right away, but no, I didn't. I have to be patient. I'll write only when I'm sure Anna is not around. Not while she's walking around, tending to patients, pretending she's not who she really is. Uh, and it's a good thing I waited. Oh, <laughs> there she is. Um, she came into the room only a few minutes after I woke up. She smiled and asked how my night had been. I held back from telling her how I really felt about being here and about her. I mean, it's not like I can hide everything. Not after what happened. But at least I can pretend I'm not planning to do what I'm going to do. <laughs> and who knows, maybe she thinks I've gone back to how I was before. I haven't gone back, and I'd rather die than be like that again. But it would be nice if she believed that. She'd let her guard down. Well, it doesn't matter that much, really. Even if she finds out I'm planning to kill her, so what? So what? I'll end her life just the same. <laughs> if it comes to that. I'll do it. If I need to kill Anna to save Grace, I'll do it in a heartbeat. You know what? Actually, Grace doesn't even need to be saved. Yeah, Grace is fine. Somewhere far away, without a care in the world. Okay, so he had me in- He almost had me there in the first half when he said, She doesn't need to be saved. <laughs> She's gonna be like, you know what? Fuck this, I'm out. <laughs> anyway, so I'm worrying over nothing. Yeah. If only. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I was waiting for some. Alright, August 5th. I haven't gained any strength back yet. Am I being impatient? I might be. 
The doctor thinks that for sure that I'm being impatient. I asked him for some exercises I could do, but he told me to shut up and rest. Damn, bro. <laughs> the hell was this? It's not even a real doctor if he talks like that, man. Alright. What are you in such a hurry for? He asked me. I couldn't tell him, so I didn't say anything. My next idea was to find a weapon. I haven't seen anything good, though. I'll still look out for something I can use, but I haven't got my hopes up. I mean, I could rip out the needle on my arm connected to the IV drip, but I don't think that'd be a good murder weapon. <laughs> Drew. What then? I can't think of anything. My mind is foggy from the drugs and the pain, god- Wait, and god damn it, why is there... Always... So... Much... Bullshit! Damn it! Why do I always have to deal with all this? Nothing I try is going to work. Okay, August 5th again. I've calmed down. I can't afford to lose my nerve. Not now of all times. No emotions. That comes when I'm safe. When we're safe. Both me and Grace. My biggest problem is not being able to walk. They've set the bones in my legs straight and everything, and it's healing at its cast. But it'll be a long time before I'm able to walk. I think. Maybe I'll be able to walk with a crutch soon. It could help me get my strength back. I'll ask the doctor when I see him. It's early morning. I hear someone coming down the hall. Slowly. Not in a hurry. They sound like they're wearing hospital slippers. Most likely it's the doctor and a nurse. I hope it's a nurse other than Anna. I pray that it's anyone else. The door opens. The doctor comes in. And a step behind him is a nurse that is not Anna. Nice. Sign relief. Hi, how are you? Oh, what the? <laughs> Ayo. <laughs> oh, it's a lot of pain, huh? No, no, it's not that, doctor. But, well... It can wait. Unless it's urgent. It's not. I just want to know why your name is Blurryface, bro. <laughs> Very well, then. Doctor can't be over 35 years old. He's wearing a golden watch and fine-looking leather shoes. He doesn't look like a doctor to me at all. Yeah, more like a businessman. <laughs> He's trying to sell you his insurance. He's like, oh, hey, bro, you need some uh, life insurance? <laughs> the doctor goes from bed to bed with the nurse, checking on the patients. Standing, wait, spending no more than a minute with each. He comes to my bed at last. Or, yeah, just last, whatever. Okay, Mr. Friday. What was it again? Let's see here. He leaves through some papers and clicks his tongue. Ha, huh, you fell. Yeah. How the hell did you manage to do that? Oh. These substances we found in your blood work explain that mystery. Not very clever, are you? Getting high no. and... Doctor, you can't say that. Oh, sue me. And don't worry, and you, don't do it again. Next time I won't patch you up, you hear? Or try not to. It's being rude, but it doesn't really bother me. I've got more important things on my mind. Doctor, how long until I can start walking, at least with crutches? Oh, don't you know. What? Huh, what? You, you're a doctor, aren't you? My doctor. Are you some kind of fraud, bro? <laughs> what, like, what is this? <laughs> Oh, the very same. Who do you think operated on you? Look down at my leg. I'm suddenly very unsure of what I'll see when the cast comes off. Can you at least guess? Or, oh, sorry, can you at least guess when I'll be able to walk? I'd rather not. Bruh. The nurse standing next to the doctor looks uncomfortable. She's holding a hand to her forehead and sighing. Yeah, I'm, I would be doing the same, quite frankly, hearing all this bullshit <laughs> coming out of this dude's mouth. <laughs> uh, but why not? Yeah, I deserve to know, bruh. <laughs> well, a lot of factors are up play here, you see. The doctor starts moving his right hand in complex patterns. What to your factors can change how quickly you heal? A whole lot. So who can really say? Factors like what? Oh, so many of them. Like what? Yeah, tell me, bruh. Like, uh... Glances down at his papers. Like your blood pressure, which is crap, by the way. <laughs> Are you stressing over something? Yes. Actually, no. No, doctor, I'm not. I swear I'm fine. This is fine. He frowns a little. Well, it'll be fine. Kick your feet back and relax. What are you in such a hurry for anyway? You haven't got a job waiting for you outside or anything. <laughs> huh? How do you know that? <laughs> oh. Well, nurse, uh... He snaps his fingers trying to remember. Yeah, Anna? Nurse Anna? Oh, Nurse Anna. That's the one. And also, I said it was Anna. Okay, I see. Anyway, yeah, she told me. Hey, yes, I know about you two. No need to act so surprised. You're a lucky guy, you know that? 
Yeah. When I first found out, I was against letting her care for you. Being objective and all that stuff, you know. But she really wanted to. So I thought, whatever. And she's taking it very well, so... It's okay, I guess. Doctor stares up into space and looks at me and grins. Oh, I see. It's her. What? She's the reason you want to get the hell out of here, huh? I don't blame you. There's no privacy here at all. Oh, no, I didn't. Don't be ashamed now. I get what it's like. He drops a smile. But you can't be thinking of those sorts of things. You've got to rest properly. Alright? Alright. He leaves with a thumbs up. Two of the other patients are laughing and whistling. And another one is grumbling with what must be jealousy. <laughs> yeah, buckas. <laughs> My journal is pressed up against me in a new hiding spot. I've moved it three times by now. I've got to write in it. My thoughts are burning a hole in my skull. I've got to share them with someone, even if that someone is a piece of paper. But for now, she's still out there somewhere. <laughs> wow. That's a doctor, man. I would, I would sue him if he did that shit to me. Anyway, so August 6th. Damn it. God damn it all. I'm stuck here with nothing to do but lie uselessly and wait. 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 Choto mate. Mate, mate, mate. Yeah, mate, mate, mate. All I can do is wait. Nothing to do but wait. 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 Hold up. For how long? <laughs> Alright, it's two hours after I've written down those words. Look at the little notebook that is my journal. I've got it in my hands. I am amazingly lucky to have it. So when I left both a notebook and a pen in the nightstand next to my bed, I checked the nightstand's drawers on a whim. And there they were. Now they're the only things keeping me sane. There's no TV or books or even magazines in here. Damn. <laughs> wow. Um, I'm counting the pages I've got left in my notebook, checking how much ink there is in my pen. Then she comes in, and I feel my heart stop. Hello, motherfucker. Oh, Anna. <laughs> Good evening, boys. Oh, wait. <laughs> what was that voice card? Good evening, boys. She greets everyone, but she's only looking at me. I remember back, uh, hello. You know what? My hands are still holding the notebook. Clutching it, actually. I can feel beads of sweat forming on my forehead. The notebook is small. Very small. My hands must be hiding it from view. Or are they? <laughs> if she's noticed, Anna pays it no mind. She wheels in the cart with our medication. While she's busy with the other patients, I slip the notebook and pen under my blanket, smooth it over, and lie quietly. How are you holding up, sweetie? I knew we jump at Anna's whispered words. I didn't notice her approach. Fine. I'm fine. Arigato. Hmm. Jack, don't you remember what I- Wait. <coughs> Jack, don't you remember what I told you? It's no good putting on a brave face. I'm here for you, okay? What's this about? Does she know? I know about everything, you see. Queen's in closer. I nearly faint. Everything. Yeah? Yes. I had a little chat with your doctor, you know. And he told me- all about how much trouble you're having down there. As soon as I realize what she means, my tense body loosens up. Ah, uh, yeah, that. It's, uh, a bit of a problem, I guess. Oh, sweetie. Well, I'm sorry. Your health has priority over sex. Oh my god, I'm not- <laughs> No, you know what? No, she's got a point, though. <laughs> she's got a point. <laughs> Prioritize your health over sex, folks. <laughs> That's the moral here. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, but don't you worry, I'm not going anywhere. She puts her hand on my blanket, starts smoothing it out absentmindedly. Makes me happy though, to see you like this again. After how long you acted before your accident, I thought... Never mind. Without warning, she leans into me closer. I feel her hot breath on my cheek. But since you're so eager, Jack, I promise that after you're released, I'll give you the time of your life. <laughs> yeah, boy. I'll make you finally forget all about grace. <laughs> Her words are like a slap in the face. I can only stare back. <laughs> hmm. So you still care about her? I don't like that. Someone like you and someone like her? You never should have been together in the first place. Please think only of me. After all, we were made for each other. I do. I promise I'll be with you. Always. Will you leave Grace out of this? No. That's no good. I can't do that. Just for asking that. It shows you're still thinking about her. She hasn't got anything to do with this. With what you did to me, and what- Oh, and what I'll do to you. <laughs> to leave her out of it. Are you holding her somewhere? Ah, 
At least that girl is good for one thing. Thanks to her, you've been a good boy, even though you're still so confused. And uh, please, I'm close to crying. I want to tear my hair out. Anna smiles again. Fine, sweetie. I promise I won't hurt her. Stop the cap. As long as you do one thing for me. Do you know what that is? I do. Of course I do. Something's wait, something she's been telling me to do for ages. Since before I got here. It's like a broken record. Wait, what was it actually? Oh, you want me to remember everything. Yep. Oh, I can't wait. When you do that, everything will be perfect. We'll be together again. Forever. <laughs> so I promise you'll remember. I promise I'll try. Hey, I promise hey. not to forego. Oh, no. That's not good enough. You promised you tried before and look where that got us. <laughs> Tell me you'll do it. I, I promise. What are you, my Asian mom? <laughs> I'll work hard and all. <laughs> good. We'll work on that when you get out of here, but... If your memory comes back to you before then... Tell me before. Wait, tell me before you tell anyone else. Okay. Bye bye for now. Bye, have a great time. She wheels out the card, glancing one last time with that eerie look of hers. I can't tell her I already remember. I've known since before my injury. I've known that when we were both children, she. No, I can't tell her. If I do that, she wins and Grace dies. And maybe I die too. We all die. <laughs> she dies too. <laughs> Alright, I can't win by playing along with Anna's delusions. Oh, Chapter 2. What Jack Lost. Alright. August 7. I can't just sit here waiting. I've got to wait, and I will, but I feel like I can't wait either. I'm doing nothing and it's eating me up. My stomach is wait, empty long enough, it starts eating itself. Do you know that? I know that. If I don't do something right now... Afraid I might go crazy and that the screen's gonna turn more red. <laughs> or not, because it's fading away. <laughs> I'm going to write down everything that happened. Maybe that'll help me make sense of things. Right now my thoughts are buzzing together in my mind, like flies around a turd. <laughs> nice analogy. I want my mind to be clear. To do what I'm going to do, and to do it properly, my mind needs to be clear. Unclouded. This notebook is small, but I think I've got enough space to write everything down. It's not a long story. So here goes. Everything. Okay, anyway. Hey, what's this grocery store? <laughs> Look at the background. Anyway, I met Anna. Met her again after so many years in a store where I worked. Grace wasn't there at the time. It wasn't a coincidence that Anna visited the store when she did. It couldn't have been. She must have been following me. <laughs> oh, it doesn't count her. So this is her outfit. Her casual outfit. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I was wondering what she looked like outside of that nurse outfit. <laughs> anyway, the first time she came in, I was at the cash register. She walked straight up to me, cutting in line. The old woman was busy counting her change and didn't complain. Nobody else complained either. Anna stood there a while, staring at me. Then she said, Psych! Wait, no. <laughs> no, I can't do this. I can't start here. I can't do it. Sorry, too much of that woman in my life. I've got to start with someone else. Someone I miss. Grace. Okay. <laughs> Going to Grace. Oh, that's what she looks like. Can I do this? Oh. There you go. <laughs> that's what Grace looks like. So Grace was a girl who worked at the same store I worked at. She was, and still is, a kind, sweet girl. She's a little quiet, but that's perfectly fine. I hated her. I hated most people. And most things. I was a real asshole. <laughs> Alright, so I didn't spend time with other people. Whenever a coworker invited me somewhere, I turned them down. I didn't chat with anyone during breaks either. It was just how I was, how I'd always been. I avoided Grace too, of course. She tried to talk to me a few times, but then I started avoiding her even more. I only took shifts I thought she wouldn't take. The times we still ended up working together, I stayed as far away from her as I could. It worked, for a while. Then came the day we talked, really talked, for the first time. There she is. Okay, nice view, by the way. Psh, what am I on my knees? <laughs> what is this? What's this POV, bro? <laughs> I was restocking the shelves alongside an old, greasy, long-haired man when Grace came along. I didn't even look at her. I only just zoomed in closer on this angle. <laughs> Instead, I became very interested in stacking cans of food onto the lower shelves. I waited for her to leave. Um, Don, you can switch me, alright? You can go help Susie. 
I already did the bottom shelves there. Don, the old man, thank you, and left. And Grace started working next to me. Um, a minute went by. I found that I couldn't work in peace. Just her being there made me upset. I had to say something. I'm fine on my own. Huh? If you want to take a break or something, you can. I'm fine on my own. Oh no, I don't mind doing this. I see. Can't you take a hint? I thought then. It's, um, his back, you know? What? Don's back hurts a lot, so I asked him to switch. Oh, I see. He has trouble with the lower shelves, so... I get it. I didn't do it to bother you, I swear, I'm Buddha. <laughs> I said I'd get it. Okay. <laughs> we went on restocking in silence. For about another minute. Um, I know you don't like me very much, so I thought you might think I was bothering you on purpose. So, go Minasai. I sighed. Who says I don't like you? Huh? Don't you? You're always avoiding me. Yeah, don't take that personally. That's just how I am. I don't care about other people. <laughs> You're a freaking dumbass. If I could go up and wait, if I could go back in time and punch myself in the mouth, I would. So, you like me? What? Uh, no, I, I didn't say that or anything. Get a clue. B Baka. <laughs> just kidding. We didn't talk for the rest of the day, so I thought that was that. She'll leave me alone, I thought. Now that she knows I prefer it that way. But she didn't. <laughs> I always thanked my lucky stars that she didn't leave me alone after that. Maybe she should have, though. For her own sake. I hope she can forgive me. <laughs> Damn. There was a lot going on already, I tell ya. So writing about the past has been a good idea. Right now it doesn't even bother me where I am, who I'm with. And thinking of Grace, remembering the way she smiled is giving me courage. She got, or she got hurt because of me, so I will do anything to make her happy and safe. The weather was nice out today. The sky was blue. There was a tiny window on the wall to my left. I can look through it if I twist my head around. That small patch of the sky is the only beautiful thing around here. That, and my memories of her. Oh, it's her again. <laughs> Hi, Jack. Hi. A beautiful morning, isn't it? Let's give it our all today. Yep, let's do that. Um, your uniform is kind of all wrinkly, isn't it? Oh, yeah it is. I haven't gotten an iron, so... Jeez, you're really hopeless, aren't you? I wouldn't go that far, yo. <laughs> I have some hope, okay? <laughs> I could iron your clothes for you, if you said, pretty please. <laughs> August 8th. After that one time, Grace started coming up to me more and more, and talking to me more and more. It was a gradual thing, just, hello and goodbye, and how are you doing at first? Eventually, they grew to full conversations. Well, I say full conversations. They were still pretty bare bones, I mean, still conversation, but yeah. <laughs> I noticed how friendly she was being, of course. But I didn't push her away. I couldn't tell her why I didn't do that. I surprised myself every day by not telling her to screw off. <laughs> it's like, get out of my face. <laughs> anyway, hey Jack. There's this bar just down the road. I hear it's a good place to go. So, how about we go there after work today? To relax? And when she asked me out for drinks, I surprised myself further by saying, sure. <laughs> go on to the bar. Oh, and here's the bar. Oh, there she is. It's like, uh, how do you like it here? Is it nice? It's alright, I guess. I don't really know, honestly. I don't go to places like this. Oh, well, I don't either. Not a lot. But I thought it would be fun, you know? Jack, or Grace ordered a c- Wait, Grace ordered a Jack and Coke. Wait, what? <laughs> I didn't know what to get, so I asked for one, too. Our drinks came quickly. They were cool and pleasantly sweet, but I couldn't enjoy mine. I was in a bad mood. Waitress had giggled while taking my order, and I took it as an insult, or it was something else just as dumb. I can't remember exactly. Ah, uh, feels good to relax after a long day at work, doesn't it? I grumbled. What is it, Jack? Nothing. I sipped my drink. Um, something's bothering you, isn't it? I said it's nothing. I'm just not cut out for this stuff. Oh, go Minasai. You don't have to drink if you don't want to. I don't mean that. I mean all of this. Oops, <laughs> I just scrolled up. <laughs> anyway, I gestured at everything around us. 
doing things with people. Huh? Why? You wouldn't get it even if I explained. We're just too different. I've had a rough in life. Really? I'm sorry to hear that. But that doesn't mean you can't enjoy yourself now. I... well... It would be a shame not to do fun things just because of that. No, what I'm saying is, it's just not fun for me. I don't like this. How can you say that? We've barely been here for 10 minutes. I just know. She didn't seem happy that I said that. Yeah, look at her. <laughs> She's like, it's like, hmm. <laughs> so, you want to leave? Uh, I hadn't actually thought of leaving. I just complained to complain. <laughs> well, you can't leave. Not yet. Oh, yeah? Yes. If you keep going like this, you're never going to have any fun in life. So promise me you'll at least give being a, or being with me a chance. Want me to stay here longer? Yes. At least another hour. A whole hour? Please? Fine. I can do an hour. Arigato. You won't regret it. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Alright. Seems like such a long time. There was a clock on the wall opposite me. I was going to stare at it for the whole hour, counting down the minutes. Then when the hour passed, I would get up and leave. Simple as that. But then, something happened. Wait, what happened? Whoa. What are you doing under? <laughs> Grace was having trouble. I'd never seen her so awkward. Uh, she was stammering, struggling to find stuff to talk about. I realized it was because I was just sitting there, barely saying anything. I was acting all grumpy too. That couldn't have helped. Back in the store with so many distractions around us, it had been easier, it had been easier to chat there. Since, you know, a few words here and there. <laughs> uh, I didn't have to do much back then besides nod. <laughs> Sitting down face to face, it simply couldn't work like that. <laughs> yeah, your source had changed. After more than a few failed attempts to get the ball rolling, Grace gave up. She sat there looking at her drink instead of me. She was most likely working up the courage to end this early. In just a few minutes, I'd be free to leave. I found I couldn't stand that. So I started talking. Ooh, wait. I said the first thing that came to mind. Am I all stupid? I don't know why I did it. It feels so unlike me. Both feeling bad for someone and talking with no filter. Or unlike the past me. Maybe I was finally warming up to Grace. Or maybe it was the alcohol. I don't know. Yeah, it was both, clearly. <laughs> the reason doesn't matter. What matters is that it happened. Back then, there was a part of me that never relaxed, no matter what. No, it wasn't even a part of me. Pretty much all of me was like that. Like a fist that wouldn't unclench. But now I found I could relax it, little by little by little. <laughs> and before I knew it, I was really having fun in this girl's presence. Talking to her, laughing with her, simply spending time with her. What did we talk about? I don't remember. I forgore. What I do remember is that I had more fun in, than I had in years. Uh, when the hour passed, I didn't say anything. We stayed there for hours longer. Wow. Wait, I do remember one thing we talked about, actually. Ooh, which is? We somehow got on the topic of family. What is your family like, Jack? Uh, I... I can't say. Oh, I see. You don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. I'm sorry I asked. I'm kind of... not on speaking terms with my family, either. Why is that? That's, um... Actually, I don't really talk with other people that much. Or hang out with them. Well, outside of work. I'm kind of alone a lot of the time. What? Really? Yeah, <laughs> This surprised me. I was surprised a lot back then. I never thought Grace was anything like me. Are you so friendly with people at the store? That's all it is. It's not like I wouldn't like to spend more time with them, but... I don't know. It feels like if I let them in, they're going to turn out not nice. But you're different. You're just trying to get by. I don't think you'd use someone. God, when I say it like that, that doesn't sound right at all. You must think I'm really weird. Gomenasai. No, I don't think you are. It makes sense, what you said. Really? Arigato, Jack. I really, really hoped you'd understand. And I'm so happy that you do. I really feel like you're someone I can trust. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so we went for drinks again next week. And then once more the week after. So things have gone pretty well between them. That's actually... A nice sign. So I could see like all the history between like Jack and Grace. And then I guess I'm starting to think like, um, you know, I think I would assume like when maybe they got romantically involved, right? That's when uh, Anna got involved like some way down the line. But I don't think we'll know that until later. 
So the week after that, we had dinner together at a greasy little restaurant where we could afford to eat. I tried to impress her by ordering wine. I'd never had wine. It was disgusting. But I guessed it would be disgusting, so I forced my way through a glass anyway. I even said it was delicious. Then Grace tried some and told me it was spoiled. <laughs> Stupid! <laughs> Damn, oh my god. <laughs> Yo. And she teased the hell out of me for that. Yeah, I love spoiled wine, you know. Oh, it tastes so good. <laughs> I like the extra mold on it, bro. <laughs> I wasn't bitter about it. I laughed along. Strange how quickly people can change sometimes. Soon we started going out more often. To bars, cheap restaurants, places like that. We took a lot of walks together too. And one time we even went to the movies. Ooh. After about a month of this, I asked Grace if she'd be my girlfriend. Hey, there you go. <laughs> we're getting we're getting somewhere. Oh, Grace's like, what? Hey, am I not your girlfriend already? Oh. And that's how it went. <laughs> hey, you know that's how you know she absolutely loves you. It's like Wait, I thought we were already dating. <laughs> they go, oh. In that case, hell yeah, brother. Alright, so August 9. A few weeks later, she told me what happened to her family back when she still lived with them. I'd known for a while that something had happened. Something she hadn't shared with anyone before. But when she told me what it was, a few of the things she said. No, I shouldn't write it down here. It feels wrong. It's not mine to tell. What if someone found this journal? Oh, where are we now? I had never imagined she was living with such a burden. When I found out, I felt crushed. Okay, so I think he's just going back to his actual memories, not what he wrote down. So Jack is, or Jack is like, uh, that's... I know. God, I feel like an idiot. After I told you I had had it rough. No, that's fine. Don't feel bad about it, please. You've got your troubles and I've got mine. I know, but... Can't we do something? There's nothing to do. It's all over now. All I can do is keep looking forward. You know? I hugged her and told her how brave she was for telling me. I told her I'd protect her, keep her safe forever, and I meant it. And I failed her, but that comes later. For now, I figured I should tell her what my own troubles had been. Okay, so... Um, you don't have to tell me if you don't want to. It's okay. I do want to. I managed to keep quiet about my past. I had only alluded to things. Now I told her everything. Wasn't a long story. What? Nothing. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> yeah, she looks so confused over here. It's like, what? What? What did you just say? Huh? <laughs> anyway, you don't remember anything? Okay, it's not exactly nothing. But my teen years are fuzzy. And everything before that, it's like it doesn't exist. What about your family? I don't know. Maybe I had one? I was in a lot of institutions before I turned 18. Oh, Jack. I'll tell you about those times if you want, but there's not a lot to tell. Nothing really ever happened to me. Wish I could tell you everything about my life. I really do, but I can't. That's fine. Uh, did you ever try to find out? About my life before then? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that was that. I didn't. Why not? Why, why did the thing beat red? Is like, did his head suddenly start, like, hurting? <laughs> or something? <laughs> like, what, what happened? <laughs> um, anyway. Uh, I don't know. I just never felt like it, I guess. I must have known, even back then. But some mem memories are best left buried. Sure, I would like to remember if I couldn't. But you're fine with it? Yeah. Well, okay. Tell me about the times you can remember, then. But I went on to tell her about, uh, the few bland memories I had. <laughs> oh, chapter 3, no more stalling. Okay. <laughs> okay, I have to admit, this is kind of long. I, actually, you know what? We'll read this last entry and then I think I'll end it. So anyway, August 10. I could write about all the talks we had. About the first night we spent together. About looking for an apartment and then finding it. About moving in. About pretty much anything that only involved the two of us. But I think it's time to move on. This isn't a feel-good journal after all. Damn. <laughs> uh, it was a Thursday, coming up to a year since Grace and I started dating. I was at the cash register. Grace wasn't in the store. Okay, I think we're finally here. So an old lady was counting her change, slowly and with trembling hands, when Anna walked in. Well, hi, bonjour. Oh, okay, what? <laughs> Why's my head throbbing, bro? I feel like my head's gonna explode. <laughs> Alright, Anna didn't buy anything. She went for the register, towards me, empty-handed. Sight of her approaching made my heart start beating like mad. My head hurt. I knew the moment I saw her that she meant trouble. Jack? My god, is that you, Jack? She had a nerve to pretend she'd stumbled upon me by accident. Like she hadn't tracked me down. I didn't have it together. 
I couldn't see through her acting. I was confused, panicking. I'm not sure why. Excuse me, miss? Is it you? Please don't cut in line, miss. It's not fair to the other customers. Yeah, get to the back of the line. <laughs> the old lady was still tackling her massive coins. She didn't seem to notice much around her. Don't play silly with me, Jack. It's you, isn't it? Yes, my name is Jack. But you've got me confused with someone else. <laughs> There's a lot of Jacks out there. Yeah, beat a Jack. <laughs> anyway. Oh, come on. Here are you, alright. Put a hand on the counter to steady myself. Reached out as if to place her hands on mine. Jerked my hand back like she was going to bite me. <laughs> it's me. It's Anna. Does not ring a bell. <laughs> Don't you remember your old friend? No. We've never met. I've never met you before in my life, bruh. Get out. <laughs> Stranger danger. I guess it has been a while. Fifteen years? Not me. Must be someone else. Anna stared right at me. Yeah, through me. Look at those eyes. <laughs> you know, she's just like, I'm evil. Thought she'd either, or I thought I'd either boil or freeze. <laughs> sure, it's you. Let's go somewhere and talk about old times. I know a great restaurant just two streets over. Look, lady. Even if I was this friend of yours, I have a job to do. So let me get on with it. You're bothering the customers. Customers weren't bothered one bit. If they hated anyone, it was probably me. After all, I was being so rude to this pretty charming girl who only wanted to talk to her friend. That's a good point, Jack. What are you doing in this place? It's a pile of trash, <laughs> goddamn. <laughs> Someone like you doesn't belong here. I was, wait, I was through trying to reason with her. I crossed my arms and said nothing, hoping she wouldn't notice that my heart was pounding way too fast. Anna gave me a good, hard look. She's about to make you hard. I mean, what? <laughs> so that's how it is. I'll see you later, Jack. Bye, have a great time. And she went away. But had a long breath, I didn't notice I was holding. I felt awful. Even worse, I felt Anna had been right. There had definitely been something familiar about her. But I didn't want to find out more. Next time she comes in, I'll treat her the same way, I told myself. Guessing correctly there'd be a next time, guessing wrongly that it'd be at the store. I'll do it again and again until she gives up. I don't know what she wants, but I ain't gonna give an inch. Alright, the old lady cried out. She found a quarter. <laughs> okay, then. Okay, what? August 11th? Okay, I thought there, were, <laughs> thought there was gonna be any more. We're reading all these entries, everybody. Yeah, August 11th. It's weird, isn't it? How I just write today's date like that and go right to telling about something that happened months ago. I should write down when that stuff happened. But it was so long ago, I don't think I can remember the exact dates. Eh, who cares? It's only for me anyway. It could be a jumbled mess for all I care. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I should write more about what's happening now. But nothing is happening. So screw it. Alright, when I told Grace about the girl who called herself Anna, and who called me Jack even though we didn't wear name tags, she took it like it was good news. <laughs> okay, you know what? Yeah, I'm just gonna end it. I mean, there's no more entries here, okay? <laughs> Listen. <laughs> These are getting kind of long, and I don't want this first part to drag on a little too much like I normally do with first parts. But, I'll tell you my first impressions firstly, so. This VN has a lot to it. So, I think, quite frankly, yeah, there's like, obviously, you know, things going on between the three of them. There's quite a bit of history. But I guess, like, we'll learn a lot more about it as we play, because, you know, the dude's trying to just uh, recompile all his memories. So, yeah, for sure... We finally get to know like how Anna gets involved in, in the rest of this, right? Because, you know, obviously like Grace and Jack were dating, but now I'm curious too as to like how, like how Anna like eventually would just insert herself into this. Because like I think Grace, you know, she initially thinks like, oh, it's Anna. Like that sounds kind of cool. Maybe she's an old friend. Like good for you. And then maybe they find out about each other later. Because like he mentioned things like, oh, I had to make, or I had to send Grace like somewhere far away to keep her safe from Anna. Or that, you know, obviously Anna would do something to Grace if Jack didn't follow what she wanted. So, obviously, yeah, there's a lot more to this that we'll definitely learn, I guess, the more we play. But yeah, like, but with all that, like, being said about the story, like, if you let me know if you guys would like me to play more of this. I mean, I would pre be down, quite frankly. With that said, I do hope you guys enjoyed. And if I ever play this, the and if I ever uh, do decide to play this... In the top right corner of your screen, there will be an annotation to the next part once it becomes available. And with that said, I will see you all in the next one. Peace.